Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Shaden. I am the coordinator of middle school youth ministry here at St. Mary's and I am going to give you a walkthrough of how to access our online edge resources uh, for you and your families um, as we are now in this time of having to do edge virtually because of the new restrictions in place. And so uh, just a word of encouragement to everyone. If you look behind me, we have St. Padre Pio with his famous quote, pray, hope, and don't worry. As long as we're praying and hoping, uh, life will always have its challenges, but God will always work everything out for my good and for your good. So let me begin and show you how to access EDGE's online um, or our online materials uh, for EDGE. So we utilize this program called Flipgrid and I'm gonna show you how that works. I, when you get the link to access Flipgrid, when I send you the link, uh, which is flipgrid.com slash 2020 EDGE, you can see that at the top here, flipgrid.com slash 2020 edge. That is the link to access all of our online uh, resources for edge. Let me log out and then go there. Okay, so when you go to flipgrid.com slash 2020 edge, everybody is going to see this. Uh, when you go to this link, at flipgrid.com 2020 edge, you will see this screen up here. Wires and Robotics, which is the title of this semester's session for edge. And it's going to say join with Google or join with Microsoft. This is probably out of everything in this video, probably the most important piece of information that you need um, because this has been um, a point of, I've just gotten a lot of questions when we started doing the online portion of EDGE of how to access the Flipgrid for um, the online materials for EDGE. So this is the portion where, um, or the part that you really just need to pay attention um, so that if you do have questions, you either can come back to this video or you can always reach out to me, um, but I will give you essentially what I'm giving you right now. So to access the Flipgrid, uh, after you go to flipgrid.com slash 2020 edge, it's going to say join with Google or join with Microsoft. And what you need to do is if you have a Gmail account or if you have a Microsoft email account, you can go ahead and click, for example, if you have a Gmail, you can click join with Google. And because you have a Gmail account, you go ahead and put your Gmail email. So like mine is stmaryhuntleyym at gmail.com. And that's the email address that I would use to access the Flipgrid. Or if you have a Microsoft email, um, you can go ahead and use whatever Microsoft email that you have. If you don't have a Microsoft email or a Gmail account, what you need to do is make sure that the current email address that you're using, for example, if you're using an sbcglobal.net or a Hotmail or an MSN or AOL or Yahoo account, you can still join the Flipgrid, but that email address needs to be associated with Google or Microsoft, if that makes sense. So you can use whatever email you want. If it's not a Gmail or a Microsoft email account, you can use whatever email address that you want, but it has to be associated with google.com or microsoft.com. And what I mean by that is, for example, if you're using a Yahoo email, you can go to google.com and let me sign out of all my accounts. You can go to google.com, you can click sign in at the top here.
you want to go to create an account. Okay, so I'm going to go back. So google.com, click sign in, as you can see here in the top right corner. You're going to select create an account for myself. And you're going to type in um, the information that it's asking you for your first name. So my first name is Brandon. And my last name. And then after you type in your first name and last name, it's going to ask you for a Gmail account that you want to use um, to create. It's going to ask you essentially to create your, create your own Gmail um, email address. But if you, like I said, if you have another email address that you're using and you don't want to use a Gmail address, you can go down to here where it says use my current email address instead. And then you can type in your current email address. Okay, and then create your own password and then confirm um, that password. And this will sign up your email address. Um, with the Google account. And then after you do that, you can use your email to access the Flipgrid. So just a quick recap, if you don't have a Gmail or Microsoft email account, you can use whatever email address you want, as long as it's associated with a Google account, as I just showed you here, or a Microsoft account. And how you do it with Microsoft is essentially the same way as well. You want to go to sign in at the top right hand side where it says sign in. Um, and then it's going to say no account, create one. So you're going to hit create an account. And this is going to ask you for, um, it's going to ask you to create an, an email uh, address, but, uh, or um, you can use whatever email address you have, or you can use, uh, you can create your own email address. So it's going to ask you to either create a new email address, an Outlook um, address, which Outlook is a Microsoft email address, or you can click use your email address. So you can use your own email address. If it's not an Outlook or Microsoft um, email address, you can still use whichever email address you want in order to create a Microsoft account with it. So that's, that's probably the part um, where we've had just the, mo the most questions about is I can't access the Flipgrid, I can't access my Edge online resources because it won't let me log in. You need to either have a Gmail account or an Outlook slash Microsoft email address or any email address that you have, it just has to be signed up with a Google account or a Microsoft account. And once you have that out of the way, you can hit join. And I'm going to go in. Let's see. And once you log in, once you log into the Flipgrid, uh, this is what is going to show up. This is what it's going to look like for you on your end. You're going to have the banner at the top with the title Wires and Robotics. Um, it's going to have you logged into the most recent session that has been posted. So the current uprunning session is week four binary code. And you can go over here underneath the banner where it says view four topics. There's been four sessions so far and you can view all the sessions that there have been. So you're in the current session. You will have, um, there will either be an image of the session right here on the right hand side, or sometimes there's also an intro video, depending on the session. On the left hand side, underneath the title, there is a description of the session and um, some instructions for you to follow as well. 
there is a link in every session. There is a YouTube link. If I click that, it'll bring you to the YouTube link. That is my talk for week four. Uh, that just gave, for whatever reason, whenever I post videos, it takes the most interesting shot of my face and puts it on there as the cover of the video, which is just funny to me. But that's the video. Um, and then it also has a link to a family and discussion prayer guide. Um, and there you will find discussion questions in a prayer guide in response to the video on YouTube. And then there's also a family activity guide. And I usually ask that the family activity be completed before the discussion and prayer activity. And then I, no, I normally also ask one of the questions from the discussion question guide. Uh, so like here it says, I want to hear from you. And my question is, what are one or two qualities that make you unique as a person? And you can already see people, um, some, some teens have already responded. And the way you respond is by simply clicking this icon that says record a response, or you can click this video camera right there. And um, that's pretty much a basic rundown of what you will find in each session for EDGE. If you go into previous sessions, it will tell you whether the topic is frozen. Usually when the topic's frozen, that means that that topic has expired, that session has expired. So the first and second week have expired already. And so those sessions are frozen. I've left week three up just because there were a few people that still needed to catch up. And week four is currently open because we're still in week four. And so what I do, uh, what I do is I send out a flock note reminder every weekend, uh, reminding everyone that uh, the next week's session will be up uh, that Monday. And so then every Monday, I will also send out a flock note with the link uh, for you to access uh, the up and running session for each week. And as I said before, really, if you want to access all the online materials, uh, you can do that by going to flipgrid dot com slash twenty twenty edge. That will take you to all of our online edge resources. Um, I've also on Mondays when I send the leak out for the most live uh, session that's up, I will use like, for example, week four, I will use this link, which will take you directly um, to this page. But essentially, the flipgrid.com slash 2020 edge uh, will take you to all of the edge resources and will always take you to the session that is currently up and running and most recent. Um, that's how you can access the Flipgrid. And that is all you need to know for the logistics of the um, online materials for EDGE. There's a talk, there's an activity in a family and discussion prayer guide for each session. And I ask for a video response. And the video response only needs to take maybe six seconds to 30 seconds, really. Um, because I'm just asking a simple discussion question um, so it shouldn't take that long to receive a response. I do go through all the responses and I will, I don't have time to respond to every single response that comes in each week, but I will uh, take the time out to respond to maybe uh, a few uh, people via video um, that have a few of the teens that have responded via video. I will then uh, respond to a few of those via video as well. Like I said, I can't get to every, every single one of them um, every week, but I, I do try to get at least to maybe like four or five uh, respond to four or five. And now that everybody is going to be accessing the online materials, I will probably be trying to respond to maybe even more than that. So I will do my best too, but please be assured and rest assured that when your teen sends in an answer, a video answer to my discussion question, that I do actually go through and watch all of them. So if I'm not responding to every single teen via video, I am listening to what each of your teens have to say because what your teens have to say is important to me and 
Maggie and Melissa in our youth ministry here at St. Mary's. So don't ever feel like any video response um, that is put out, any answer to the discussion questions that your team give via video, uh, please rest assured it's not being ignored. Uh, I am listening. We are listening. We are hearing what your teams have to say. And like I said, um, I can't guarantee that I can always respond to every single one, but I can respond to some of them. Um, and so I'm just going to leave that with you. Uh, if you have any questions about how to access the Flipgrid, you can always email me or call me. Uh, our number is 847-669-5612, or you can always email me at brandon.stmaryhuntley at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, that's really all you need to know. Oh, and the one other thing is I can, let's see, if I go to Flipgrid, Oh, keep making typos. Okay. I can um, access through my educator dashboard, and I can see everybody who, who's accessing the Flipgrid. So that's actually the way that I, you know, kind of keep accountability is I'm able to click on students here and I'm able to see everyone who's been able to access the Flipgrid. So that's just the way I keep accountable is just by seeing how many people and who in particular have had, who have been able to access the Flipgrid. So that's the last part I wanted to share with you as well. So uh, hopefully you've learned how to, uh, well, you've learned what Flipgrid is, you've learned how to access the Flipgrid and what I do on my end with the Flipgrid. And uh, hopefully that answers any questions that you may have. And if it doesn't, like I said, you can always reach out to me and our youth ministry office and we would love to help you. And I hope that you have a wonderful day.